everyone thank you so much for supporting me by clicking this video and in this opportunity i would like to show you how to crochet this popcorn top that i named pramoda Wartani. it is a beginner friendly crochet project and very easy to make and without any further ado let's jump to the tutorial let's grab our category to yarn and our three millimeters crochet hook you can use any kind of yarn that in category two and i am using this cotton rayon yarn from my own yarn shop you can find the link in my description box below also please be noted that i will only make a little swatch here to show you how to crochet the stitch and you can just follow the instruction on your screen and the first step is we need to make 111 chain once you finish with your chain put an additional one chain this is for our turning chain and doesn't count as our first stitch and then single crochet all along starting from the second chain from the hook You just need to do single crochet until you reach the end of the row. Alright, so this is how your row should look like. It will be our foundation for our stitch. The next step, chain 2, turn your work. The chain 2 doesn't count as our stitch. And then crochet, double crochet into the very first available loops. and make back loop only double crochet and then front loop only double crochet back loop only double crochet front loop only back loop only front loop And you just need to continue alternating the back loop only and front loop only until the end of the row. Alright, and I'm here at the end. And then into the last stitch, you should make a normal double crochet, which is working into both loops. Alright, so the next row, chain 1, turn your work, and then single crochet into the very first available loop. Front loop only, since so we need to make an alternation because the previous row we do the back loop only first, so now we do the front loop only. And then back loop only, front loop, well actually we just do the same alternation between back uh sorry front loop and back loop only single crochet until the end of the row and then you can do the single crochet normal single crochet into the last stitch all right so i'm here at the last stitch and i am making single crochet and this is how your work should look like all right so from now on repeat the double crochet and single crochet back loop and front loop only until you read 27 rows and i will meet you there all right so i'm finished with my 27 rows of double crochet and single crochet and this is how your work should look like once you finish your work do not cut the yarn because you need to make 53 chains for the bottom part and i already made mine once you finish with your 53 chains, find another end of your work and face it each other like this. Make sure the end is facing to each other and then slip stitch your work into the very first stitch of other end. And then fasten off and cut your yarn. 
Okay, so we already make our base for the bottom part. Now let's count 27 chains starting from the side. Insert your yarn into that chain and then grab your elastic. Make sure the elastic is fit to your waist and you use the cord one. We're going to crochet the elastic along and hide them with a single crochet. Oh yeah, and you need to join the ends of the elastic before you crochet it. Now, make single crochet into the very first loop. Position the elastic like this and crochet it along. Make sure you just crochet one side of elastic. Make another single crochet into the next chain. And single crochet into the next. So basically just do single crochet all the way along to hide the elastic. And then I will meet you at the end to show you what to do next. Alright, so I'm here at the end and... We need to slip stitch into the very first single crochet, not the chain, but the single crochet. And we're done with our first row of our Picatrelli stitch. And this is your work should look like. It will be a little bit curved, but that it's okay because that's how it should look like. Chain 1 for the next row. Single crochet into the very first of level stitch. Chain 5. Skip 3 stitches. And then single crochet into the next stitch. Chain 3, we're going to do our picot stitch and then slip stitch into the single crochet. Chain 5. Skip 3 stitches. Single crochet into the fourth stitch. Chain three, slip stitch into the single crochet. Chain five, skip three stitches. Single crochet into the fourth stitch and do the picot stitch. All right, so this is how your work should look like. And you need to repeat the chain 5, skip 3, single crochet, pick up stitch until the end of the row. So just continue the same steps and I will meet you at the end to show you what to do next. Alright, I'm here at the end and I am ready with my chain 5. Now we need to slip stitch into the first single crochet. And we're done with our second row of the battle part. Chain through, sorry, chain two, double crochet into the very first stitch. Chain three, single crochet into the chain five space. Chain three, slip stitch 
into the single crochet where we are making our picket stitch chain 5 single crochet into the chain 5 space and picket stitch chain 5 single crochet into the chain 5 space picket stitch And this is how your work should look like. You just need to repeat the steps, chain 5, and then single crochet into the chain 5 space, then pick a stitch all the way around until you reach the end of the row. And I will meet you here at the end to show you what to do next. Alright, from now on, just repeat the second and the third step of pick a trolley stitch until you reach the total of 19 uh, rows of pick a trolley and then i will meet you there to show you what to do next all right i'm finished with my 19 rows of our picket trellis stitch and this is how your work should look like if you think it is too long or too short you can just add more rows or decrease some rows as your preference okay so now we're going to crochet the straps and our corsets back before we start to crochet we need to count 32 stitches starting from this side and then put the stitch marker into the 30 second stitch do the same thing to the other end 32 stitches from the side and then insert the stitch marker now insert the yarn into one stitch before the stitch marker placed so here is our stitch marker and then we need to go insert the yarn in this stitch so one stitch before the stitch marker chain 2 double crochet into the very first available stitch double crochet into the next stitch double crochet into the next and basically we just need to crochet double crochet into the five stitches Alright, so we're finished with our five double crochet. The next row, chain two, double crochet into the same stitch, double crochet into the next, and double crochet on top of every double crochet. This is how we're going to crochet our strap. Double crochet all around. From now on, you just need to repeat 5 double crochet until you reach total of 24 rows and then I will meet you there at the end. Alright, so I'm finished with my strap and I already attached the end to the back part by sew them together. Once you finish with your 24 rows, just sew the end to, to your back part of your work. Now let's move into the other side. Before we attach our yarn, we need to count six stitches starting from the stitch marker. And then insert our yarn. Chain 2, double crochet into the same stitch, double crochet into the next 4 stitches. So in total we should have 5 double crochet, just the same with uh, the other side. 
and then from now on you just need to do the same uh thing that what we did into the other end and then sew to the back part of our work all right so now we're finished with our straps and we already sew the end together now we can move to the corset back The corset back we are working on the side and also the single crochet part of the picatrelli stitch. Insert the yarn into the first single crochet row of the body part. Chain 1 and then single crochet into the same stitch. Chain 5 and then single crochet into the double crochet row single crochet into the same double crochet row so and then single crochet into the next single crochet row two single crochet into the double crochet row And then single crochet into the single crochet row. Chain 5. And then we need to repeat the same steps that we did here. So we need to make 6 single crochet before the next chain 5. Two single crochets inside the double crochet. Well, basically, we just need to repeat these steps, which is two single crochets into the double crochet and one single crochet into the single crochet row until the end of the row. And we need to make six single crochet and then chain five and six single crochet again and chain five. Okay, so I'm here at the end and I already have my two last single crochets. The next, I still have another one row of single crochet. So we're going to do um, two single crochet together. The one is the single crochet row and the other one is the single crochet from the picot trellis stitch. Alright, so from now on, we need to make single crochet until we reach the center of our work here. Alright, so I'm here at the center of my work. Now, we need to crochet chain 5 and then single crochet right into the next stitch. If you think it is too long, you can just do three chains instead. Now you need to crochet single crochet until you reach the end of the row. Well, here I am at the end of the row and we need to make the decrease, which is two single crochet together between the picatrellis and the side of the body. And then make two single crochet and do the same thing that we did at the other side. Alright, so we are finished with our corset bag, which means we are finished with our Pramoda Wartani top. And now you need to crochet chains as long as you desire 
the chain should fit to your corset back and you can make a knot with that and then uh, once you finish with the chains just insert them into the hole that we made starting from the bottom and then we pin all the loose ends and you are finished with your work all right so i think that's all for the tutorial thank you so much for following my tutorials and i hope that the instruction is clear enough and easy to follow in case if you like to make in other sizes you can get the copy of my written pattern to the link in my description box below also if you post your promo dawar dani on your socials kindly take me on instagram or facebook at kingin Fortuna. continue your support by subscribe to my channel click like and share to your socials media also comment down below what should i design next and see you on the next video bye